the first thing that the person must check when there is a loss, some gold, some silver, some money, some cash and is lost or somebody came and purchased a lot of goods and then disappeared, never paid. So we must check our zakat. One lady said, Molana, I paid my zakat 100% and yet my jewelry got lost. I said, well then, probably Allah Ta'ala is testing you. He took some jewelry away and saved you from big accident that could have taken place. Some big azab and bala could have come. Allah Ta'ala protected you from that. And a little bit of loss in the wealth, you made sabar. But then I asked her one question. Since when are you paying zakat? She said, from the time that I got married. So I said, zakat became farz upon you only after you got married. When did you have jewelry? When did you have some cash? Because I knew that she was from a wealthy family. She said, no, from my childhood days, my parents used to deposit a lot of money into my account. May open an account for me. And my mother gave me jewelry and so many other occasions I had. So I said, now, from the time that you became of age until the time that you got married, did you calculate how much zakat you had to pay? So you made toba and you started paying from the time you got married. But what about the zakat that was due before that? So Nabi alayhi salatu waslam said that most of the losses, or that is the mafhum of that hadith, that any loss that takes place, whether it is on land or sea, it is due to zakat not being paid properly. Now, of course, it doesn't mean every person's loss is because of that. As I said, that sometimes Allah Ta'ala wants to give plentiful on the sabr that the person exercises. Or he wants to remove some other difficulty, hardship that this person was going to face in his life. So a little bit of wealth goes away, but the person is protected. But generally, it is the zakat which is not paid. Our calculation of zakat is haphazard. I have a whole shop full of stocks and people come for donation collection so I write down 50 rand zakat, 1000 rand zakat, 100 rand zakat and at the end of the day say well I gave a lot of charity, I gave a lot of zakat. But did we calculate? Did we work out how much stocks we got? For the receiver of revenue we are very concerned. For the receiver of revenue we are concerned. And here Allah wa ta'ala is not taking tax from us. That zakat is an ibadat. And when the person will give his zakat properly, then look at the rewards that Allah wa ta'ala has promised. And one of the rewards is that Allah wa ta'ala will protect that person's wealth and property.